I'm so tired of being disappointed by men. I'm. You blew it. <laughs> so fucking tired of getting hurt. I'm Lucille. Ah! Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> I'm so tired of men lying and then calling it honesty. Jack M. George, my boy. <laughs> Just realized. What? Um, I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm so tired of men pretending like they want to be in a relationship with you and literally pretend and act like they are in a relationship with you just for them to turn around weeks later and say they don't want a relationship with you. You blew it. <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you doing the entire time? Were we playing pretend? How old are we? I thought we stopped playing pretend when we turned like nine. Why are we still doing it? Why are you a little boy in a man's body? Why have you not matured yet? Why do I have to be disappointed and feel like a fool every time? That's a great question. I've been wondering that myself. I'm so tired. Because from what I've also learned about guys is that they know right away. They know pretty early on if they see it with you or they don't. You know, and... All we can do is pray for, but still, it's, this is real shit. And they're not going to waste their fucking time if they don't see it, right? And I'm not talking about, like, just keeping you around, kind of breadcrumbing you just to, like, be able to get into your pants. You sure about that? So that, you know, you go out on a night out so that they can text you at 2 a.m. and you come over. I'm just saying, like, I've gone through enough. I've been through enough. I don't come to where this chick works and tell her what street corner to stand on. Oh. Oh. Bitch. That like, I know the difference. I can usually spot the difference. I'm talking about guys that are coming over, cooking me dinner, hanging out multiple times a week, going on dates, paying for things. You tell the world what happened here. What happened here? I don't know what you need to tell them. I'm meeting their friends. They're meeting my friends. Like very much dating, right? <laughs> so you can do all of the long-term relationshipy things with me, but then turn around and say you don't see the uh, long-term relationship with me. You got me. Everyone's like, oh my god, Lindsay, how do you deal with heartache? How do you deal with, like, getting rejected and getting your feelings hurt? I, like, don't handle it well. Me, 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 I, I, I'm so fucking important. But the more it happens, the better I become at just, like, letting it go. I used to always turn it around and be like, okay, well, what happened? And why me? And what did I do wrong? And why didn't he like me? Hey, hey, you wanted this, right? Sis, wake up. You're in the middle of it. You want to run? Go ahead. No one's stopping you. Stop complaining. Now, there's no rhyme or reason. I've literally learned that it is nothing to do with me. This is something else. What's going on everybody, this is Rat Boy here, and as you can see in the previous clips, we have somewhat of a special treat today. We have a woman who keeps getting pumped and dumped by random men that she's meeting online or possibly at the gym or wherever she's meeting these guys at. They keep pumping and dumping her and she's confused because she thinks she's in relationships and well, you, you saw what happened at the beginning of the, of the video, but I do want to ask a few questions here. The first question is, why do you keep doing this, I guess? Why do you keep going after these dudes? Why do you care so much? You know, because obviously you're, you're getting with the wrong men. And in this woman's TikTok profile, it says she's 26. So why aren't you settled down by now with a family? Why haven't you already chosen a guy and went ahead and settled down way before 
turning 26 is another question I would ask. But let's go ahead. We're going to finish off this video here. There are some things that she points out in the previous clips where she says that she has already been through a bunch of random men and they all do the same thing to her. So why do you keep making the same mistakes? You know, you're expecting something different, but you keep doing the same thing over and over again. I will never understand the thought process behind this, but let's go ahead and let's finish with the rest of the video. Grab you a snack, grab you a beverage. Again, my name is Rat Boy. Let's get into it. And that's not to say I'm perfect. That's not to say that, like, you know, everyone has to like me. But I, it doesn't matter, honestly, what they tell me. It doesn't make it any better. So asking them, like, what went wrong, save yourself time. Save yourself the text message. Save yourself. <laughs> They're going to lie. I'll tell you what, what happened. And this is something that they won't tell you. They probably found someone more attractive, someone better, someone in better shape, someone with, you know, that probably uses less offensive language. I, I don't know if any other guys think this way, but when women curse a whole lot, she probably cursed about 10 times in this video. It's just not attractive at all. So if this is how you normally talk to just normal people, yeah, a guy's probably going to see that and think, why would I stay with this person? She's has, she talks very in a very masculine way. It really doesn't, you know, it's not keeping me. So they're going to find someone else that's a little bit more feminine with their words a better body, a better face, and they're gonna level up. Let's continue. You're never gonna get the real truth. It sucks to get excited about someone and to really put your time and energy and if for it to be reciprocated and if for it to be going well and then for it to be taken away from you without you understanding and without getting any type of like good reason. And you know, it happens every single day to men and women. This isn't just a woman thing. This happens to men all the time. A lot of times men will be in full on marriages for years, 20 years, 30 years with kids. And then the woman's like, you know what? I've never been a 304. I want a divorce. And then they're back on the streets. Like it, it happens every day on TikTok <laughs> and just in life period. Because most likely it has nothing to do with you. Because honestly, I think he could see a long term relationship with me because he wouldn't have done all that shit if he couldn't have. Well, yeah, of course, you know, he, he definitely probably could have settled down with you, you know, no problem if you were maybe younger, 22, 21, possibly. But, uh, you know, he found someone younger, found someone better, someone more pleasant to be around, someone more soft-spoken, maybe someone who doesn't air all of their laundry out online on TikTok. She has over a thousand TikToks and they're all just talking trash about her and random people. You know, m guys don't like that. Guys don't like women who show their bodies off online, who open up their shirt and show their shoulders with their bra strap or whatever you're trying to do here. Guys don't like this kind of stuff. They like a woman that is, you know, a lady, a woman that's not going to do all this for strange men online. And it's something that he needs to deal with within himself. Either one, he's not ready for a long-term relationship, period. Not because it's with you, with anyone. And maybe you're the first girl that he actually started to see and feel a long-term relationship with, and he panicked. He freaked out, he had put his foot in the water, and he panicked and got cold feet and basically blamed it on you. Well, you know, he put something somewhere, that's for sure. I'm not sure if it was a foot, and I'm not sure if it was water. But he definitely did put something somewhere and he decided, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to go with one of my other orbiters, one of my other uh, uh, anyone else on the, uh, the pitching team and, and and take them instead of the 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 fill in. <laughs> Let's continue. When in reality, he might have some unhealed trauma, isn't over his ex-girlfriend, is stressed out like you never know. But See, and they will go. They will literally blame everything. Trauma insecurities x stress but th they don't understand that it's them they're the issue they could literally change everything about themselves and could possibly attract the guy that they want and, but they don't want to they, they don't want to change anything they don't want to stop posting online they don't want to stop showing their bodies they 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 want to keep you know talking to three or four dudes at a time but then then they get surprised whenever one of them dudes are just, just like you know what i'm good <laughs> I'm good. You can just uh, stay to the streets. Most of the time, the guy is not going to take the responsibility or take the time to probably self-reflect and deep dive into why he can't see a relationship with you when you guys get along like a house on fire and he probably won't find someone that he gets along better with. When women say that 
they get along. It, it, it's basically the man is just changing a lot about himself because there is no compromise with women like these in relationships. It's either her way or no way. And then men just kind of be like, you know what? I can find a better looking, uh, a more pleasant woman to be around. I don't have to be around this. I don't have to settle for whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just, this is a, a fire. It's a train wreck. Why have a train wreck when you can just, you know, have not a train wreck. You can have a normal human instead of this sort of uh, pile of, of misery, just complaining in the front seat of her car to strangers on, online, showing her shoulders off to strange men. It just doesn't like they're not putting the pieces together, you know, in a while. And maybe he'll figure it out later and, you know, and be like, oh, shit, I probably shouldn't have done that. But by that point, it's going to be too fucking late. So I can sit here and boohoo and be upset and, you know, and try to hope that he figures out what he lost or just understand that the person. He didn't lose anything. He, he gave you away. Like there's a difference. Like whenever your car gets stolen, you lose the car. It gets taken from you. But uh, whenever the car has plenty, lots of miles and there's a lot of body damage on it, it's been wrecked a few times, the seatbelts don't work, the airbags deployed, the tires are flat, uh, it's out of oil, it's out of gas, it's out of fluids, it's just dried up and used and nobody wants it. It doesn't, like, it, he gives it away. Like, yeah, you can have this old busted car, nobody wants it. Just don't drive it, you know, it's not good. For, uh, for anything conventional, but you know, you can rummage around in it and, and find some scraps if you want. ...that you're meant to be with won't fucking like let you go and will realize how special the person in front of them is and won't do shit like this. Yeah, you're about as special as a dirty penny. See, this is the thing, like a lot of women think this way, like they're really not a prize. Like that, She wasn't even like, she was averagely attractive. She she wanted to pull the the giga chad that was making this you know he was probably making good money he had the nice car he had the he was going to the gym he was he was everything she wanted and and he probably looked at her one morning like before she put on makeup was like i'm i can do a lot better than what this is laying next to me and he dipped which i don't blame him a lot of guys are doing this now because you know these Guys her age don't want women her age. It's just they want younger women. It's just it's it's just the way it is. It's, it's the way the world works, so to speak. But let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, and I will catch you guys later. Rat boy out.